I just built a fully working app on my phone, no laptop, no coding, no crying in front of JavaScript. If that sounds a bit insane, let me show you how I did it with an AI app builder called CodeFlying. So quick intro before we dive in. Uh, CodeFlying is an AI platform that lets beginners build real full stack apps just by chatting in plain language. You describe the app, it does the code, front end, back end database, hosting the whole thing for you. No super base setup, no API keys drama, no why is my code working on local host, but not in production panic. <laughs> it's literally one, type what you want, two, chat a bit, three, click publish, Four, you've got an app you can open on your phone or share as a link. It even comes with supporting management system so you can track the app's data and usage anytime, anywhere. And in this video, I'll build an app from scratch on my phone, yep, on my phone, show you how fast it goes from idea to real product, show you the built-in dashboard as well, payments and at the end, I'll give you a challenge you can try yourself. Now, if you stay till the end, you will have at least three app ideas you could build today. All right, let's actually build something. Now, I'm going to build a simple freelancer client tracker application. Not that simple, but you will see. Something to track clients, invoices, and payments, right? So, I just type Build me a mobile-friendly client management application for freelancers. Uh, I want to add clients, track projects, uh, mark invoices as paid or unpaid, and see a simple revenue overview. That's it. One natural language description, right? And code flying goes, got it. It started generated the whole app, front-end, back-end, database, notification all in one. If you ever open it, VS Code stared at a black screen and thought maybe I should just become a farmer instead. Yep, this feels very, very different. Now look, it's done. I've got a screen to add a client, a list of projects, status like in progress or completed, a little summary of total revenue, and all of that from one description, zero code typed by me. <laughs> to be completely honest, I don't even know how to code. I'm not a programmer. So here's what's special about code flying compared to a lot of other no code tools. It's mobile first. Everything it generates is automatically responsive and works great on your phone. So I can create, I can test, and I can tweak my app literally from the bus, from bed, or while pretending to be productive in a meeting. Second, it builds the full stack. Not just a pretty front end behind this little app, Code Flying has already created the database structure, set up authentication, wired the API calls, and deployed everything for me. You don't need separate hosting, separate databases, or some third-party backend tool. It's all baked in. Think of it like having a senior dev, a designer, and a DevOps designer, engineer, except they all live inside one chat box, don't argue, and never miss deadlines. Super cool, right? I know. Now, here's where it feels like a real product, not just a toy. Every app you build, in code flying comes with its own management dashboard. For this particular freelance tracker app, in the dashboard, I can see all my users, I can check what they are doing, I can view the app data and analytics, I can track overall traffic and behavior. So if you are thinking about launching something public, this isn't just for fun. You can actually manage and optimize your app over time now, let's talk money, the part I like. So, Code Flying supports Stripe, WeChat Pay, and other popular payment models. That means you can do the following. You can charge subscriptions, right? 
you can sell access to premium features or just slap a buy me a coffee style payment right into your application. Now, no gluing together five different services. You ask Code Flying to add payments, it wires it up in the back end. If past you has ever rage quit while integrating Stripe manually, future you is going to want to send Code Flying a love letter. So who is Code Flying actually made for? The positioning is very clear. It's for creators who want to launch tools for their communities, for students experimenting with projects, uh, many indie developers validating ideas super fast, for startup teams, right, who don't have a full dev crew yet. Now, let me give you some ideas you could literally build this week. Work assistant tools, a simple internal tool to track meetings, notes, and follow-ups. Maybe a mini attendance system for your team, lifestyle and daily life apps. A camp checking list app that saves your favorite location and gear. A travel planning assistant that stores itineraries and budgets. You can also do a maybe study and learning helpers. You can do a fun language learning tracker with streaks and vocabulary lists. Uh, maybe a homework and assignment manager for students. All of these are just describe, generate, tweak, publish. And remember, every single app comes with that built-in backend, right? Uh, that's what I like. Uh, the management dashboard as well of a label and one-click publish as a shareable H5 web page. Native app export is also on their roadmap. So you will be able to go even further with iOS and Android. Now, at this point, the biggest barrier is not, can I code this? It's, can I describe what I want clearly enough? Sure you can, I mean, it's simple English, right? Now, let's quickly compare this to the usual ways people build apps. Like traditional coding, you research frameworks, set up your environment, design the database, build the front end, hook up APIs, deploy, debug for two, three weeks, right? It's powerful, but it's slow. And if you are a beginner, it's brutal, right? So typical no-code tools, you drag and drop components, still need to understand the data models, right? So often need external services for authentication and payment, and your backend is sometimes a mess of glued together tools. With code flying, the promise is tell me what you want and I'll handle the full pipeline from the idea to code to deployment to management, right? So you can still iterate, refine and customize, but through chat. It's not locked into templates. Now the AI actually adjusts logic and design based on your conversation, right? So instead of fighting with settings, you talk to it like, hey, add a dark mode, or let users log in with email and password, right? Or create an admin view to see all orders. Now it's like ChatGPT, but instead of giving you code snippets, it gives you a live application. It's really cool, right? I know. All right, let's have some fun. So I'm going to pitch you a challenge. After this video, go to Code Flying, link in description, and try to build maybe a personal life OS that track my mood, sleep, workouts, and snacks, and gently roast me when I mess up. So yeah, I want you to build an app that bullies you into self-improvement. Now you could specify maybe a mood tracker screen, a sleep log, workout tracking, and a snack log of shame. Then tell Code Flying the following. Send me a daily summary and give me a funny message if my snacks are higher than my workouts. Now, if it works, congrats. You've just shipped your first AI-built wellness app. If it doesn't, well, at least you tried. Uh, that's more than my gym membership can say. <laughs> but I'm sure you overcome any obstacles with code flying. So let me quickly walk you through the exact steps to start with code flying today. 
Number one, open the link in the description or the pinned comment. You will see the official code flying website and my tracking link. Thanks for using it. Number two, sign up and log in. Number three, on the main screen, hit create application. Number four, in the chat box, describe your idea in one clear paragraph. Things like what the app is for, who is using it, what the main screen or features are, and any special logic you want. All right. Number five, let code flying generate the application. Then number six, test it right away on your phone. Click around, add some test data, see how it feels. Log in, uh, do everything you want. Jump back into the chat and say things like add a login page, like I said, uh, make the home screen maybe cleaner, add a chart that shows weekly revenue. Then when you are happy, use the one click publish button to turn it into a shareable H5 web page and send it to your friends, to the community or first users. You don't need to touch a line of code. You don't need to set up servers. You don't need to buy some complicated template and hack it apart. That's why I like code flying and I really recommend it. So to recap, code flying lets beginners build real full stack apps just by chatting. Uh, it's mobile first, so you can build and manage everything from your phone. Every app gets a built-in backend and management dashboard. You can plug in Stripe, WeChat Pay, and more for monetization of your application. And you can publish your app with one click as a shareable web page. Now, if you ever had an app idea sitting in your Node app for months and got some crazy prices from devs, uh, this is your sign to finally build it for cheap, right? Code flying will help you for sure. Now click the link in the description or the pinned comment, like I said, try code flying for yourself and then come back here and comment. I build this with code flying plus what your app does and I'll be reading all your comments and based on the number of likes and comments your app gets. I will drop you guys some cash and a couple of code flying membership cards. As well, I will feature some of your apps in a future video too. You're welcome. Now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and go build something crazy with code flying. Maybe it goes viral. You never know. I'll see you guys in my next AI tool recommendation. Have a good one.